introduce it. Chocolate Cavern. Excellent. According to TripAdvisor. Look, here's a lizard. <laughs> Matches the lizard on my truck. for state all about Megalodon shark teeth. Mm. That's real cool. Shark. It's right here and sit you down. You want to go on this tour or you want to wait and go on the next one? I think we'll take another how many minutes? You wanna go on this one or you wanna wait? Let's take this tour. You take this one? Mm. Okay. Alright, what do you think about the tour? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 She's originally from Cebu, Philippines. <laughs> awesome. 
Anyways, guys, while I was saying it, I'll say it again. My name is Jeff. We just for today. I was telling them I've lived times my entire life. And you guys, good hands. And I'll, I'll ask them, have the one that just joined us, have any of y'all been in the cave before? Who have ever been in the cave? So you guys, a few of us have. Has anyone ever been in this cave before? I have. I have about this 15 cave times. This <laughs> is the largest on the east side of Mississippi. We have our big room, big up the football stadium, and we also have an awesome underground waterfall. All right, so stuff you guys can look forward to before we go down there. But before we even go down to the cave, I want to talk about the history behind it. Now, long ago, Cherokee Indians were loved all around here, and that's how they got that name, Tuckalichi. Tuckalichi Cherokee Indian means peaceful valley. And long ago, when they, before it was named, the same town, it was called the Tuckalichi Cove. And driving through, you guys can probably figure that out. It's pretty peaceful through here. There's not no big factories, pretty small town. And Cherokee Indians are especially all around this area, especially at the opening of this cave. When they were building the concrete and all the infrastructure around this area, they found a lot of artifacts, but never any artifacts down there inside the cave. Because in their beliefs, you know that light wouldn't touch was sacred ground. They've never gone down in there. It wasn't until the late 20s when two boys, the ages of six and eight, named Bill Van Ann and Harry Myers, lived on this area. And guys, coming into this little basement, what's the first thing I'll notice? It's kind of chilly, right? That temperature drops down. It becomes 58 degrees and it stays like that year round. It could be a thousand degrees outside, negative thousand, doesn't matter. 50 degrees right here and off that this cave. And that's pretty much how the boys come out on a hot summer day in the late 20s. There was no video games, there was no air conditioning. You had to go outside and have fun. I know for some of us, it might be hard to understand, but yeah, this was the day. But the best place to hang out on a hot summer day. So they're here hanging out one day and it started raining. The rain started to form a little stream and started to bubble up in the ground right around this area. They came through and moved some dirt and some rocks to find a hole about this big. Now, of course, these boys being curious, they got on their hands and knees and started crawling into this hole. They got about 10 feet in the cave and realized that they couldn't see their own hand in front of their face because there is no light down there. It's pitch black dark. And later on, I will turn all the lights off so you guys have a kind of, see what I'm talking about. It is dark, dark. And so they came out and flashlights weren't invented and kerosene were going to be real expensive because that's what everyone in the cove used to like their homes at the time. So what they did was they got a little spruce knot, they got some old rags, a couple good sized sticks, and made themselves feel a little homemade torches. Then they lit this on fire, they went back down here again. And this time with that little, this little torch they made, they got about 40 feet. And then they're stopping the tracks again because they can no longer see the ground in front of them. There's a big old drop off. When these boys came through, they held the torch out, dropped it, and that fell a few seconds. This drop it ended up being around 60 feet right there. And I'll show it to you when we get down there. But these boys come out again. This kid kind of gives us an idea. Do I have anyone 60 or 80? I know you guys are quite close. How old are you? Seven. You're seven, so around your age. They came out here, instead of going home, they couldn't go down this big six foot drop off. What they did was, they made themselves a little homemade rope ladder, some sticks, some old rope they found. They crafted it together, went back down here again, they threw this ladder off, they're climbing down it, they're hearing these echoes, hearing this water, seeing these formations, and they knew they found something really special. But the crazy thing is, they never told anyone about the cave they found. They always kept it to themselves. To them, it was like a little man cave, if you will. <laughs> Guys, that's my best joke, so. <laughs> if you laugh at that, it's going to be a long story, which it is. But, like I said, elementary school, middle school, high school, never told anyone. Now eventually when these boys get to high school, they graduated. And around this time was when World War II started. So these boys both got drafted into World War II. And they walked and served in Europe. They actually both stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day, which is what I find interesting. And when they came back home, which was in 1950, they're back in Townsend. And around this time, a lot of tourist attractions started to pop up around the country. Now one of these caught attention in New Mexico is a cave, cave tour. One of them, the first of its kind. They gave me an idea to open up their own cave. So they came here, they saved some money, they bought 200 acres of land around the little hole they found, the mineral lights went into that, and they opened up this cave in 1953. And they, two years ago, they finished buying the rest of the property over the cave, so it's been an ongoing process all, all these years, so they just now finished it. But back then, you gave them a nickel, and then they handed you a kerosene lantern and said, have that. No tour guide, no nothing, just hole in the ground, down in. Now they have this thing called liability, so it's not that simple, but we will have a good time. You guys excited? Yeah. Some of you know, like, terrified, confused, we'll figure it out. <laughs> guys, before we go down there, a few rules. We are very lenient here. I just ask you guys to cooperate and we'll have a good time. Please, no smoking or vaping down there in the cave. Please stay on the paved walkway the entire time. And personal and chairs getting lost and hurt. Also, when we go down there, guys, please don't collect. Please don't break any souvenirs or formations on there. Just leave it how we found it so the group after us can enjoy this much as you guys are about to. You guys can take as many pictures, videos as you like. One thing I ask is if I'm in it, make sure I look good before you post it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, down here there are 205 steps that we will If you go down, you have to come back up. And so we say 410 spaced down a mile and a quarter walk. I've had two girls do it, nine girls do it. You guys have a fine group table, we're just fine. All right. Have a good time. Once again, for those who joined us, my name is Jeff. Please ask me questions. Okay? Talk to me. If you guys stare at me in dead silence all the time, I'm very awkward. Right? So let me first talk. We'll head down. Thank you.
Get this side and hold the rail. I'm too short to walk that side. Oh my gosh. Day, it looks like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be when we leave. No, we'll be brown shit there. <laughs> awesome. Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, come through here. This is the only area in the cave that's been cut out, excavated for the ease of us coming down in here. Because remember, this hole, these boards would fall through from like, this big round. I know for some of us, it might be fun and got no hands and knees and shimmy through a tight little tiny hole, but I gotta do this four or five times a day, so I'm very glad they put this area open for us, right? <laughs> now, guys, do you see these black and blue wires coming through here? See these? Yeah. These run to the seismograph that we have down here in this cave. The, great question. A seismograph, for those who don't know, measures earthquakes. Right? It measures how big they are and tells us everything about them. Our seismograph is the most sensitive one in the, in the entire world, sitting right here in this cave. It can pick up from the smallest thing from you guys driving a parking lot to nuclear explosions over there in North Korea, which is the main reason they're using it for is look for nuclear testing in other countries. So it's really interesting. Now, so coming down in here, did anyone find any wishing rocks? Wishing rocks. Yeah, you wish That's you didn't hit your head. Exactly. Yeah, so wishing rock is a rock you wish you didn't hit your head on. Alright? So, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's got some. Okay, yeah. We just have, have a few. Guys, I say it's a joke, but this is not a Disney light show. Alright? It's a natural underground cave. There's lots to look at. You guys have to keep aware of your surroundings. Watch your head. Use the handrails. It is a very active cave, so the floor will be wet. Alright, guys? I want you to have a good time, but most importantly, be safe. You guys ready to head down?
Okay, so I'm going to hop up for him, and do one circle, pull down the gravity, and quickly come out. Okay, so I'm going to hop up for him. It's not just the last tight. Alright, it's the last tight. And these are the most common type formations you see throughout the entire world. So all around, this is down and down. Now, most of the formations are the last tight. And then this is when you meet up in the middle, you get what looks like this, you look around here. Okay. And these are a little more interesting. These are called columns. Right? Columns. Like I said, can you ever guess why it's called a column? Exactly right. I see that very interesting. No. Now, like I said, these jokes are keeping my name. You'll see it's my name. You've got the way you can hear it. Now, like I said, it's really like your name. It's great. The same old, like I said, this stuff here. It's got some way to do it. It's got some way to do it. Now, if we look right about me, I'm here. We have kind of like soft stone iceberg, right? Now, this area is called low stone. All right, low stone. Get back here. Alright guys, can everyone hear me okay, especially in the back? You know, I can yeah. Yeah. So we got two more there. I'm gonna take pictures and stuff. I don't think they can ask them. Guys, back there we're about 90 feet below the parking lot. When you go down these stairs, we're about 200 feet below. Alright, so we're getting deeper and deeper. But guys, when you go down these stairs, make sure you're heading to your right hand side. Alright? You change to your right hand side going down these stairs. There's a slight curve beginning there. The left side's a little narrow. If you're confused. Right. It will not grow any larger. Okay, so if it looks wet, keep your hands off. Okay? 
It's going to your right inside. We have a group pass this right here. Can you get two sided for two? I think you cannot fit here. 
I can see it. back in there it goes. Those are columns where they grew together. Look how far back in there it goes. Way back in there. It's like a chest stone. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to get in the Lowest clearance that we'll go through because this came about four foot clearance, right? So make sure you dug down, you know, tell the person behind to duck as well because they might not see it because your big head's in the way, right? So. Be, be courteous. Guys, we would take the elevator, but it hasn't worked in years. We just got now. Isn't it pretty? Took some bad video during that section. Got plants growing.